Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today we're going to be doing the corkscrew weave. It was made by Sean from Board Paracord and I really like it so I thought I'd give it a go. So I've got two bits of cord, red, green, green, red. They're both six feet long. I've joined them together and done a simple cow's hitch on the bottom buckle. And then I've come up through the top buckle like that. Now to start off with, we're going to do a simple cobra weave. So the green goes over the top of the middle cords like that. Your red cord goes like that. Behind everything and out the other side. Sorry about that, I just hit my light. There you go. So there, that's your cobra weave, just to start things off. And now what you do, grab your green cord. Go like that. So all I'm doing is wrapping it there and it goes underneath. Like that, and off to the right hand side. Like that. Cinch it up, make it nice and tight. Your red cord. See, look, the green goes there. Now the red cord goes over the top. Kind of mm, chop that corner off if you can. Like that goes behind everything and out to the left like that now your green cord kind of goes across the corner like that you see what I'm doing it goes along like that behind everything off to the right You're, and push it all up. Don't forget to push it up. That's the important thing. Your red cord goes over the top and out to the left. Now I said about pushing everything up. That is that is the important part of this weave. Pushing everything up. Make everything nice and tight. Like that. And now we're going to do it again. So the green cord goes behind everything. Out to the right. Red cord behind everything. Out to the left. Squish it all up. Make it all tight. Do it again. Green behind everything. Out to the left. The right. Red behind everything. Out to the left. And squidge it all up. Like that. And you can see the weave coming through. You can see the pattern. It looks like a snake knot, but you're not actually tying anything. You're not actually doing any knots. You're just wrapping it, everything around the centre cords. So it's a quite nice, easy weave to do. So I'll do one more. Green behind everything. Out to the right. Put it a bit tight. Red behind everything, out to the left, squidge it all up. Right, I'm just gonna keep going down till I get to the bottom. But look, you can see the weave coming through there. You can see the pattern. Um, I shall 
yeah, get to the bottom and show you what to do next. Right, so I've got to the end of the bracelet and what I'm going to do now is another cobra weave. So the grain goes over the top like that. The red goes underneath. Out the other side. Like that. Put it all tight. And there you go. Now what I'm going to do is snip and singe. Right, so I'm going to get my scissors. And snip quite close to the actual bracelet. I'll get my lighter for this and I'm just going to melt melt the end using the blue flame now I've got a jet lighter I think you've seen it in other videos it's really good it's really quick but that's the problem. It's really quick. Uh, I'm gonna use my, lick my finger and tap it in. There. That's one side. Oh, I might do that a little bit better later on. I'm going to do the other side now. Oops, sorry. Get my green. Get my scissors. Cut it close to the bracelet. Use the blue part of the flame. I don't know if you can hear that. There's loads of police. Don't know what's going on in town. So I'm melting. Like that. Here's what I was looking for on my tool. And what I'm going to do is just squish that in. So there, that is your corkscrew weave. I hope you liked the video. It does look like the snake knot. Now, if you haven't seen the snake knot, I shall put a card up there so you can have a look. But there you go. I hope you liked the video. I hope my fingers didn't get too far in the way. Um, and check out the other playlists. I'm gonna have one there and one here. So hope you like the video and I shall see you in the next one.